Welcome to this video on Catan slang and terminology, where we'll explore the vocabulary used in the game The Settlers of Catan. Whether you're a seasoned Catan veteran or just starting out, understanding the language of the game can enhance your gameplay and help you communicate with other players. From plowing to pacing, we'll explore the meaning of some of the most commonly used terms in slang. Tracking. Tracking is usually defined as knowing which resource cards your opponents have in their hands at any given time. Players gain and lose resource cards over the course of a game for a variety of reasons, so knowing what they have can give you a distinct advantage over other players who are not keeping track of which resource cards have been distributed. Successfully tracking players' resource cards can lead to more successful trades, more precision robber steals, and more lucrative monopolies. Tracking can also refer to keeping track of the general state of the game, such as always knowing which development cards have been played and how many road and building pieces remain. Plowing. Plowing occurs when a player builds roads or settlements to prevent an opposing player from building roads or settlements in the same location. Plows can be done as a preventative action to secure a settlement location even if it is not in imminent danger of being taken by another player. But plows can also be aggressive to cut off other players, steal settlement spots, and break up longest roads. Plows that only prevent roads can be called blocks or chops. The player building the road or a settlement is the one doing the plowing, while the player who is stopped from building a road or a settlement is the one being plowed. Locking. Locking occurs when one of the two special victory point cards, either the largest army or the longest road, has been permanently secured by a player. This occurs when it is not possible to build a longer road or play more knights than another player because there are a limited number of knights and roads in the game of Catan. For example, in a four-player game where each player has three knights, the next player to play a knight will lock the largest army cart. That's because there's only 14 total knights in Catan, and there's only one knight left in the deck, and it will be impossible for any other player to play more than four knights in order to take back the largest army card. Feeding. Feeding occurs when opposing players temporarily collaborate in order to deliberately trade one player the exact resource cards they need to achieve a particular objective. This usually occurs to prolong the game or to slow down a player who is either too powerful or close to winning the game. The player trading away cards is the one doing the feeding, while the player receiving cards is the one being fed. If you're enjoying the content of this video, please smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. I upload daily Catan gameplay videos and sometimes upload educational and strategic videos like this one. Hexes, or hex tiles, are a term for the basic building blocks of the Settlers of Catan and its expansions. They are hexagonal tiles that represent different landscapes. Resource hexes are the five specialized hex tiles that provide resource cards to their adjacent settlements and cities. The five resource hexes are forests, which provide lumber, pastures, which provide wool, fields, which provide grain, hills, which provide brick, mountains, which provide ore, and there are also desert hexes which do not produce a resource. In the Seafarer's expansion, there are also gold hexes which provide one of any resource, and ocean hexes which provide no resources but allow for the purchase of ships. Production. Production refers to the total resource output of a player's settlements and cities on a given turn. Production is measured by production pips, those little dots below the numbers on each terrain hex which determines the probability of that hex producing resources. When a player says they want to focus on or increase production, this means they want to maximize the number of pips they have by either building new settlements, which can yield new resources and production, or by building cities, which doubles the production of the surrounding hexes. To count your total production, add up the number of pips on the hexes surrounding the settlements you control. If a city is built, double the number of pips on the hexes surrounding your cities. Insurance. 
Insurance is a type of non-binding trade agreement between two players that occurs when a player with more than seven resource cards temporarily trades their excess cards to another player in order to avoid discarding those cards in the event that a seven is rolled. The insuring player then agrees to trade those cards back on their next turn. Insurance can either be free, which means that all cards traded previously are returned, or have a cost, which means the insuring player either keeps some of the cards they're insuring or receives assurances, such as not being blocked by the robber from the player whose cards they are insuring. Popping. Popping simply means to buy a development card. That's it. If a player says they are going to pop, that means that player is going to spend an ore, wheat, and sheep to buy a development card. While popping is the most common term for this action in online Catan and in tournaments, it is possible that you might hear other less commonly used words depending on the background of each of the players, such as pulling or drawing, which can be used instead. Dirty Mono a dirty mono normally refers to playing a Monopoly card or resource after you have just traded that resource away. Some players find this to be a dirty trick, and thus a dirty mono. A dirty mono could also refer to playing a Monopoly card to take all of a single resource from an opponent who has only that one type of resource in their hand, leaving them without any cards. Less commonly, a dirty mono is also an alternative way of describing the resource cartel strategy in Catan by using your settlement placements to monopolize control over a rare resource. Pacing. Pacing refers to the rate at which the game is progressing. It is a measure of how quickly players are developing their settlements in cities, acquiring resources, and competing for victory points. Pacing can also refer to a player's strategy for controlling the tempo of the game by manipulating the flow of resources and taking actions that slow down or speed up their progress and the progress of their opponents. Pacing is also particularly important for competing for the special victory point cards, the largest army and the longest road. Since to win these cards, you need to beat your opponents to them. And to hold on to them, you need to stay ahead of your opponents. Targeting. Targeting occurs when players deliberately attempt to impede the progress of one or more players by selectively blocking their access to resources. This can occur via the robber, monopolies, trade embargoes, plowing, and even settlement placements. Targeting often occurs as a retaliatory act by hostile opponents annoyed at a player for something they either did or said during the course of the game. Targeting can also occur based on a player's reputation or skill level, such as in the 2021 Catan Championships, one eventual champion, Bo Pang, was deliberately targeted by two of his opponents before the match had even started because he had not lost a single game. Orbits before we talk about an orbit, let's talk about a round, since they're related. A round in Catan typically refers to a full cycle of play where each player has taken a turn. A round starts with the first player's turn and continues until the last player has ended their turn, or when the game has ended. Meanwhile, an orbit is slightly different in that it refers to the order in which players take their turns within a round. So when a player says next orbit, they mean the next time their turn occurs within the next round. This can also refer to all of the gameplay that occurs between the end of a player's turn and their next turn. An orbit describes this fixed order of play, since players are moving around a circle, or orbit, as they take their turns. Turtling Turtling refers to a strategy where a player focuses on building a strong defensive position and limiting interactions with other players. Turtling involves prioritizing the development of settlements and cities within a player's own territory and can sometimes be favored by players using the or wheat sheep strategy. Turtling also means minimizing trade and interaction with other players. In online Catan, Turtling is more common on Catan Universe than on other platforms like Colonists because the chat box is normally hidden from view. Turtling can also refer to the irrational behavior of bots, 
when they hoard cards or take little to no action throughout the course of a game. Well, that's it for this video on Catan slang and terminology. If you have any suggestions for further phrases that you want to know the meanings of, please post them in the comments and we'll try to make another video at some point in time. Otherwise, I hope that this video helped expand your Catan vocabulary. Until next time, I'm Chris Texera, and we'll see you online.